In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can divide your artwork up into individual carousel slides and then export them as individual PNG or JPEG images using Inkscape. So I'll go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. The example we'll be working with for this demonstration is the Instagram carousel slide, which they recommend a size of 1080 by 1350. So what I'm going to do is grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag to draw a rectangle. And I want to make this to be 1080 width by 1350 height. So I will grab my selection tool. I'll come up here to where the width and height inputs are and I'll change the width to, well, first of all, make sure you're working with pixels here and then make sure this lock icon is turned off and I will make this a width of 1080. And then I will make this a height of 1350. And now we have the size. This represents one slide on the carousel. So if you want to have three or four slides, we're going to have to create three or four copies of this and stack them next to each other. So let me first change the document so that it's the size of this rectangle here. So with the rectangle selected, I'm just going to press Control Shift R on the keyboard, or if you're using Mac, it would be Command Shift R, and it's going to resize the document to the selection, as you can see there. And now we want to get rid of that border and the shadow around the border. So let me go to Document Properties. I'll go to File, Document Properties. And where it says border, let's first turn off the border shadow, and then we will turn off the border altogether. And then we can close out of this menu. So we now have a single document for a single tile. So what we have to do is create three or four duplicate copies of this. For, the, for this demonstration, I will create three slides. If you want to create more, you can go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to turn on snapping up here in this top right corner. And then I'm going to snap this rectangle to the right hand side of the page there like that. And then I will grab the Documents tool down here. I will snap to the bottom right corner, then click and drag, and then snap to the top left corner to draw the second page. And if I move this over, we now have a second document there. Now it looks like one continuous document, but these are two separate, two separate documents here. We have page one and then page two. So now I'm going to create my third slide. I'm going to snap this over here to the right hand side, and I will grab my Documents tool again, snap to the bottom right corner, Click and drag. There we go, there's page three. So let me grab this and move this out of the way. I'm just gonna work with three slides for this demonstration. So I'm gonna delete this rectangle now. If you want four or five slides, you'll just have to repeat that process a few more times. But we now have the template that we can use to design our independent slides. And I'm gonna, for this demonstration, I'm gonna bring in an image that I've downloaded from a stock photo site. Let me just open this up. I have this on my other screen over here. I'm going to click and drag the image onto my canvas like that. Okay, so now I have imported my artwork onto the canvas. The problem that we have now is that you can't see exactly where the artwork lines up with the canvas. So we're going to re-enable borders so that we can see that. Let me place this on top of, the, on top of the document like that. And then I will open up the Document Properties menu again. File, Document Properties. And now, I'm going to turn the border back on. I'm going to make it so that the border is always on top. I'm going to tick that box, and now you will see the border on top of your artwork. And I'm going to leave Show Shadow turned off. That's not necessary. And depending on the composition of your image, you may want to change the color of your border. If you notice here, my border is kind of blending in with the image. It doesn't stand out very well. So I'm going to make this border white. So I'm going to change the border color up here. And I'm going to make this white. And you can see, you can see that border much better now. And if you want to bring down the opacity of it so it isn't so sharp, you can bring this down a little bit. And now it gives you a better idea of what the continuous image will look like because the border isn't so prominent there. So let me close out of that now. And we now have our document set up with three different carousel slides that we can add our contents to. So I'm going to resize my image to fit this better. I'm going to turn off snapping now. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to hold control while I'm scaling. And I'm going to place my artwork right about where I want the three slides to be. So in this first slide, I want the subject to be in here. And then the last two slides, I can let it be the rest of the image like that. And what you could do now is you can go through here and add some contents. So I think for this demonstration, I'll just add some simple little dummy text and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so I have some sample text in there. If you want to make sure that your elements, that your design elements are aligning perfectly with each individual slide of the carousel, 
Just open up your Align and Distribute menu by going to Object and selecting Align and Distribute down here at the bottom of the list. And then set the relative to, set this to page. And now whichever page you have the design element placed over, you can center and align it based on that particular page there. So I'll make a duplicate of that by pressing Control D and I'll move this over here. And then I will center this up on this page as well. Okay, so let's say that this is the design I wanna export. These are the three slides I want to work with here. To do this, we're gonna create separate images of each tile here using the batch export feature. So let's go up to where it says file and go to export. And then over here in the export menu, we're gonna choose batch export because we wanna export all three of these slides at once. And we're gonna choose pages over here. And if you notice over here, this is a preview of what's gonna get exported. We have page one, page two, and page three. Now, if yours is not in order, don't worry. Sometimes it just indexes them here in the wrong order, but they will be exported with the proper name and, the, and in the proper order. So uh, this is titled page one, page two, page three. Down here, you can choose uh, like a prefix for the name. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this little folder icon over here to choose where I would like to export these designs. So what you can do here is change the name of the files that will be exported. The default here, as you can see, is bitmap.png. If I leave the default here as it is, the files are going to be saved with the names bitmap-page1.png and then page2.png and so on and so forth. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Down here, you can choose your file type if you'd like. The default is PNG, but if you want to export as JPEG or TIFF or WebP, there you go. There that option is, and I'm going to click Save. And what I'll do here is I will just put up on the screen here the result of exporting these three documents as individual carousel slides. And you can now upload these to Instagram or wherever else to have three separate images that make one continuous image. So that's how you can divide your artwork up into individual carousel slides using Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. As always, thanks for watching.